Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market has been balancing within a narrow range near the all-time high. And given yesterday's rejection, the breakout to fresh all-time highs continues to be intact. So our short-term bias heading into the open is bullish. The market is at an inflection point here at 59 quarter to 61 quarter, which marks the all-time high. But the underlying environment is conducive for the market going even higher. So off the open, if we are seeing broad market strength and decent upside momentum, then the market is primed to continue heading higher. But we do need to see that broad market strength where the AD should at least be in positive territory. It doesn't have to be very bullish because the previous close is 57.75 and the advanced decline line is based off the previous day's close. So it doesn't have to be very positive, but you do want to see the AD in positive territory and trending higher. You want to see the tick holding above zero. And as long as those bullish signals are present in real time, then we could see a breakout and a continuation move to a fresh all-time high beyond 61 quarter. There is no hard resistance, but given the recent ranges, the market could go up to 69 to 71. But that's purely based on range expectation. So if intraday, you see the market starting to struggle near 69, then it would make sense to take profit even ahead of that zone. So it's not a very rigid or hard area of resistance. It's just a potential target in the event of a successful breakout continuation. Now, in the event that the market rejects the 59 quarter, 61 quarter area, we still have support at the 56 half high volume node. We have the previous VPOC at 54 quarter. Now, if the market is going to head higher, then ideally you want to see it holding near the highs or at the very minimum holding above the 56 half HVN. If you see the market slice back down through 5650, then it would lower the odds of a continuation move higher. So in that case, we might even end up going down into the 48 to 50 initial support zone. That is still a spot where responsive buyers can be active. And then below that, we have last Friday's RTH low at 44 quarter, Friday's overnight low at 42. We have a high volume node at 41 quarter and larger time frame support at 37 to 39 quarter. So in the event that the market does turn bearish intraday, which is the lower probability scenario, but in the event that that happens, buyers can still be active at 41 quarter to 42 and especially 37 to 39 quarter. So again, heading into the open, our short-term bias is bullish. The underlying environment is conducive to a breakout continuation move. So as long as we're not seeing any warning signs in real time and we're seeing some strength and upward momentum, then the market could make a new high today. So those are the main ideas. Let's see if the buy side can maintain the firm control that we've seen in the overnight session and we'll take it from there.